done a you know a whole range of roles throughout your you know your career. Um, what attracted you to the X Files? Were you a fan of the show? Yeah, um, I mean to say I was a fan of the show is is you know I wasn't I wasn't a diehard fan. I grew up um, I was pretty young when X Files first came out, and um, I watched a couple episodes, and they scared the crap out of me, and and then I avoided the show for a long time. Um, and then I, and then I found it again when I was a little older. And then, um, I mean, more than anything, it, it's, it's just one of the iconic TV franchises that, you know, you, you know, you kind of think are untouchable as an actor to, to be able to be a part of, you know? And, uh, so when the audition came in for that, I was like, yes, of course, um, that would be amazing. And, uh, and then I started, you know, diving back in and doing a little bit of research. I Googled uh, like the, the 10 fan favorite episodes of X-Files and, and went back and watched them because I wasn't going to be, I wasn't going to have time to, to start from the beginning and, and go from there. Um, and I, you know, I was a big fan of David's and Jillian's um, and just of, of, of everyone involved. And um, I've, I've now gotten to work with um, the cigarette smoking man um William uh, on uh, my new show upload so it was nice to get to you know kind of have another I only had a small scene with him on the x-files so to get to work with him again on upload was really cool so did David or Jillian help you and Lauren Ambrose prepare seeing as you were sort of their protégés they were super accommodating they were super nice they treated us like family um you know our roles were supposed to be bigger and and unfortunately Lauren and I were both uh unavailable uh, the second time around, uh, she was, I can't remember if she was doing a, a, a series or a play. Um, uh, I remember at one time she was doing a play and at one time she was doing a series and then I was doing something at the same time. And, you know, it's just one of those things where you've got to schedule around David and Jillian because they are the, the heart of the show. So, it, you know, it would have been really awesome to get to go back and do some more. I feel like, um, it just would have been nice to dive back into the world, but I was really fortunate to just to get to be a part of it. Um, and, and David and, and Jillian could not have been any nicer. They, you know, talked to us about their experience in the past on the show, their current experience on the show, um, just kind of the tone and the characters. Um, my first scene with, with the two of them was actually the introduction scene when we're in the office. And I hand um, David my my card and my character's name. I only knew it as Agent Miller. And when I looked at my card, it said Kid, uh, Agent Kid Miller and kids named after uh, David's son, which was really cool. And, and he didn't know that. So he looked at the card the first time and put it in his pocket and walked out and they call cut and we come back in. And uh, I went to get the card back from him and he was like, you're not getting this card back. And props comes walking in. They're like, don't worry, we prepared for this. And um, David, David showed me, he's like, this is my son's name. They, you know, they named, the, they named your character after my son. I was like, this is just super cool. I didn't know he didn't realize that, that they had named the character. We knew he named the character after him, but we didn't yeah. realize. That's really cool. That's awesome. Yeah, they kind of hid it from him until, I, I mean, that's the, I, that's the assumption I made considering, you know, the reaction and that he said he didn't know. But uh, I thought that was a nice little touch from the creative side. What was it like stepping into a show that was 25 plus, you know, had started 25 plus years ago? Um, it was a little overwhelming before I got there. And then once I got there, it was, everybody was so, um, you know, none of them take this show's success for granted. And they all know how special it is. And I think that they know that that can be intimidating to walk into. And everyone from, from top to bottom was just really great and and very welcoming to to myself and to Lauren made us feel like part of the family made us feel like we had been there for you know for several seasons um so it, it was it was very nice it, it, it you know everything kind of went away once you got to 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 be on set and, and hang out with these people and 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 occasionally you step back and you go oh shit I'm shooting that files like don't you know you don't want to screw this up you don't want to you just want to make something that um that that you know the fans will like and the nice thing about it is it was you know they they brought back uh, a lot of the same directors and and writers and and the producers so you know from 
from that standpoint, I knew that the show was in good hands and I just wanted to, you know, try not to screw it up. Do you have any favorite memories from working on the show that you could share with us? I mean, that first day was really cool. Uh, just to be, you know, in the office with Mulder and Scully. Um, that, was, that, you know, there were a couple of out of body experiences there where I just kind of looked at it as a whole, like, this is really cool. This is, this is, you know, this is TV history. Um, I'm very lucky to be here. That was, that was really fun. Um, and then, um, and then also just hanging with, you know, David, I mean, I'm a big fan of Jillian and David's, but um, I spend a little bit more time. Uh, I, I didn't do a lot of stuff with both of them. It was either with one or the other and kind of getting to know them individually was really cool. And um, David is like, I'll like the best way to describe him is I think he's the coolest guy on the on the planet. He's like, any you know, you watch California. Hey, you look, you watch any of the shows, you're like, or any of his projects, you're like, X Files. You're like, this guy is so cool. And then you meet him, and you're like, oh, that's why, because you're really just this cool. And um, just getting to kind of spend some time with him and pick his brain about his success in the industry. And, you know, the way he's, he's kind of mapped his career um, was really cool as a young actor to, you know, to spend time with somebody like that, that I look up to. Um, as far as like individual moments, the, my kind of uh, finale episode um, with Jillian on the, um, on the uh, bridge was just like as, you know, kind of felt like as big as television gets. They closed down the bridge, they packed it full of cars and, and background. They had a giant light above us. It was, it just, it felt like a very big, cool TV moment. And, you know, those are just kind of rare to be a part of. So that was, that was just really, you know, another one of those moments where you're like, this is a cool, big X-Files moment. And, and I'm, you know, I'm very happy to be here. Why do you think you know shows like The X Files have remained so relevant for fans and even actors? I think part of it is the you know the sci-fi can be timeless um, because it you know some things never come to be, and then other things you know looks like they were telling the future and like. I think that people can kind of dig into those, both those sides of things. Um, uh, I think that there is an amount of charm to the X-Files that um, goes a long way. It, 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 it does a great job of writing this line of sci-fi, but this relationship between two people and, and their lives and, and, and what they're going through and just trying to find something um, I just think it, I think it's a show that, although is science fiction, is very relatable to the audience, and everybody can find something in it when they're watching it. Um, and then when you have David and Jillian, you know, the chemistry between them and and their characters, it just makes for very enjoyable, easy watching question for you and we we ask the whole sure. cast everybody we talk to we ask the same question so um if you could say something to the fans of the x-files from the last 25 plus years what will it be um uh i i i hope i didn't screw anything up i'm so proud to have been a part of it um i've met a lot of you know I, the fandom i i did some some comic conventions um having been on the flash and done some other sci-fi stuff. And I got to meet some, some diehard X-Files fans. And it was really cool to, you know, meet these people who really enjoyed my character, which, you know, although it wasn't there for very long, I really enjoyed being a part of it and, and, and getting to kind of talk about the series with, with fans has been, has been an awesome side of things. So, you know, um, I think for me, it was just a really special opportunity and something I'll never forget. And I hope, um, uh, I hope the fans dug it, and um, um, I would I would do it again in a heartbeat. <laughs>